Good morning. Oh, you see. <laughs> we are just waking up. My camera is having issues focusing today. There it goes. I'm having my coffee and getting ready to get up and get ready for the day. My face is still swollen. Oh my gosh. I don't know if it's ever going to go down. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Anyway, it's another day home with my beauties, my little beauties here. All right, I'm going to get ready for the day. Maybe have a second cup of coffee today. Take my antibiotics for the swollen face and get busy. Get busy, right? <laughs> Happy man. Happy man. All right, let's do it. Let's do it, do it. <laughs> nope good morning you guys so we are getting all of our morning things done I ended up giving Solomon and Maddie a bath this morning they needed one desperately so we're kind of changing up the routine a little bit today I have to tackle this bedroom it is a mess but for the moment, we're doing breakfast. The kids are having some Pop-Tarts because of our late start. And I am having some baked oatmeal. This is one of my favorites. So I'm having that. Let's see if it's, oops, still cold. So anyway, I'm having some baked oatmeal and then we are going to tidy up a little and then get our homeschooling done for the day. My face is still swollen. I can't even believe it. <sighs> but anyway, and it kind of hurts today. So I'm going to take some ibuprofen. Hopefully that'll help a little bit. It is really, really rainy. Really dark. Um, the hurricane remnant is coming through here. Probably some of the outer bands right now. And then later today, I think it, it might be a little bit even worse. So, lots of rain. So we'll be inside for the day. But yeah, I'm going to um, get some breakfast. I had a couple cups of coffee. I'm gonna get this breakfast in me so that I can tackle the, the rest of the day. So we are getting our homeschool done today. So far we have done our memory work and we have read our story of the world history lesson. Um, Mason has done his math, I think. No, what did you no, do? No, because... Language arts. Did you do language arts? No, because okay. I couldn't hear because they were screaming. Oh, yeah, kids were screaming. One. So I got... Can I? Can you flip up the thing? Can I hold the camera? Okay, so basically I made... Here's storm. So Here's my friend eye. Faith gave this to me. It's a doll that I've really been wanting. Her name's Diva. Tornado watch. And... I got this Jojo bow from school with a little ribbon, or rainbow ribbon, and then another Jojo bow. And then um, she gave me, and then Faith gave me this. It's where like there's a little ball inside, and it's like there's an Easter bunny inside, and you can if the ball goes on this side, well then you can just like do that, and then you know. So. And then, and then I made something. Green so here's uh, this. Flesh, flesh so basically this flesh, can make you jump uh, flesh, really flesh, high. Flesh. This can also make you jump up really high. This is like a stick to like, to like pretend right. fight. And um, this is like and if you jump over that and then you jump on that. And 
you jump, so. you're on top of the water, and then this is like a pretend costume. Um, pretend, wait, 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 no. pretend no, like this is on top. Okay. Pretend cotton, if like to play. Pretend if they're hurt. Pretend hurt. And um, this, if they can get on, pretend balance beam. This is precipitation. And the next this is if anybody um, like pumps to like murder. It looks like. Chow. So it's up really high, so that way. We're looking at Washington D.C. Okay, so guys, um, so here's the Winnie the Pooh book that we were not reading, but um, I, Sully, stop. Okay, but um, I can read this. Part. Mm hmm. And so I'm just going to show you. So I have a house where I go when there's too many people. I have a house where I go where no one can be. I have a house where I go when nobody ever says no where no one says, what was it? Anything. Anything. So there's, there is no one but me. Good job. And I have never read that much. Very good. Very good. <laughs> and an actual book. Very good. So. All right, it is time for lunch. We are gonna just do some easy mac and cheese today. Okay. Um, it's definitely time for Solomon's nap. Mason is doing his meteorologist thing. He's so awesome. He's following all the all the rain and all the warnings and keeping us updated. Watching out so that Daddy knows in case he's in a bad spot, right? <laughs> he's calling him. And the kids are over there having some lunch. You got orange juice? That looks very yummy. Your Jew? Finish eating your food so you can take your nappy. Good boy. So, anyways, um, we're gonna um, get this macaroni finished, and then once we are done eating lunch, I'm going to put Solomon down for a nap, and then once he goes to sleep, it will be time to do Mason and Maddie's. Um, independent lessons that they do with me. And that's always easier to do after Solomon goes to bed. So we're gonna do that in just a sec. And I actually had a whole chicken on the menu for dinner tonight, but I forgot to thaw it out. So I'm not sure if I'm going to, and it is in the deep freezer, so it's very frozen. So I think I'm going to do bourbon chicken in the Instant Pot for dinner tonight with Jasmine Rice. And I think that will be pretty easy to get put together. So anyways, that's what's going to be for dinner tonight, and I will show you guys how I do the Instant Pot Bourbon Chicken. Alright, so we are finally finished with homeschooling today, and it's almost chore time. I'm giving the kids 10 or 15 minutes to hang out for a little bit and sort of decompress, and then we're going to do some chores and clean up. I have kind of neglected some of my house chores, so I've really got to get going on um, laundry and just some basic cleaning. But uh, dinner tonight, like I think I said earlier, is going to be bourbon chicken. And so I probably am going to go ahead and throw those in the Instant Pot. Jimmy won't be home until 6, but if I go ahead and get the bourbon chicken done, it'll have time to kind of sit and cool and thicken before he gets home, and then we will eat um, when he gets here. But guys, sometimes we eat before he gets home, and then he will just eat when he gets here, depending on how late he's gonna be. Okay, um, so there is a tornado warning near him, near the place, right? It's tornado warning, right? So, a tornado. And we're in a tornado watch, mm -hmm. so this is very bad. <laughs> very, very bad. It's not that bad. It is very bad. Today's been a I'm um, not doing my hair kind of day, mm -hmm. so that's just the way it is some days. Um, we're praying for Daddy. <laughs> he's fine. But anywho, um, Solomon's down, and this little guy was asleep, and then he woke up and wanted some more milk, so he just finished up his milk. Can I hold him? And I gotta go change his diaper. I'm gonna go change his diaper, and then I really need to do a little bit of planning 
to get all of the jumbleness in my head out on paper, which is what really helps me. Honey, <laughs> easy with the pieces. He's so sweet though. She loves them so much, she squeezes them into pieces. Um, yeah, so I, you know, I pushed off starting our day a little bit, but that allowed me to have some time this morning for Bible study, and um, I need to do that every day, and that helps really set the tone for me, and that helped set the tone for my attitude some this morning, so definitely going to make that a priority. I think I mentioned that in another vlog. But. There is your day for you waiting for the baby. So I am going to do some planning. Um, I need to fill out my homeschool planner and then get these chicken thighs in the pressure cooker. Leave him alone, babe. <laughs> 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 All right, he's wanting to take a nap. Yeah. Let's let him nap. Yeah, after we change him. <laughs> after we change this little sticker's diaper. So sweet. So sweet. Mm. Love them. So I'm in the process of vacuuming underneath the couches. So I've got these pulled out and I have vacuumed all through here and through here. And the rug, well, in this room can't be vacuumed because it is still a disaster. Um, this project will probably either be tonight or tomorrow or the weekend. Weekend. I'm not sure when I'm going to work on it, but it's almost too too bad for the kids to do it by themselves. So I've got to work on that um, at some point in the very near future because it is very, very, very bad. And so I'm probably going to leave that short. But I'm definitely getting this room vacuumed up and cleaned up. And so I can check that off my list for today. Little man is enjoying some finger e eating time or fist eating time <laughs> and Mason is still keeping track of the rain for us and I got Christy and we mom have you seen if she's Joss or not I haven't been able to look it up yet but I tell them where we found that American girl um we found it at the first mm -hmm. and it was $130 right <laughs> no it was um that one was Winnie, I believe I paid, and it sells online for a hundred. Yeah. Mhm. Mm yep, but it's a real American girl. Yeah, and all the other ones I have are fake. Keep her hair nice. You need to put it back up yeah, in the ponytail. All the um, American girl dolls that I had were were fake, but this one is real, and my mom got well, me. You, you had then, two real American girl dolls from when I was little. Yeah, but um, she got me two more that are real and this is the one that's real and there's another one that's real. Mm -hmm. So, I only have one that is not real. Yep. All right, you guys, it is time to put these chicken thighs in the pressure cooker for bourbon chicken. So I've got a big pack of chicken thighs that I'm getting ready to put in here. Okay. So that's what I'm gonna do first. Uh So there's our soy sauce, and now we're going to do a fourth of a cup of ketchup. Okay, two teaspoons of garlic. tablespoons of vegetable oil. Mm. All right, we're also going to do a cup of honey. All 
right, we're gonna do a half a cup of diced onion and some salt and pepper, an eighth of a teaspoon of each. It's gonna kind of put some salt. Okay, I just need to add my onion. Oh, you guys, onions make me cry every time. Oh, it's terrible. Yeah. It looks, it looks like you were just crying. I am crying. Duh. Woo. Oh, look outside. Mm. Okay, and you can add uh, red pepper flakes if you want to. I'm not going to. My family hates anything spicy. So basically, this is it. And I'm going to pour this on top of my chicken. Alright, here we go. Okay, those onions are so strong. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna put the lid on my Instant Pot and we are gonna cook these on high for about 15 minutes. I think that'll do it. Pressure cook. Let's do, I think I'm gonna do like 17 minutes. All right, so I'm gonna let that cook. And then I'll put the jasmine rice in the rice cooker. Okay, I am going to use jasmine rice. It's my favorite kind of rice. And I'm just using the Kroger. We don't even have a Kroger, so I don't know where we got this. But <laughs> anyway, jasmine rice. We're going to probably do three or four cups. Let's see if I can get this bag open without a knife. Might need a knife. So the rice cooker that I use and I've used for years is the Aroma brand rice cooker. And basically it has measurements on the inside. And so you just match the cups of rice to the line. So like if I use three cups, I'll just put water up to the number three line. Okay, so let's do that. All right, this is about two cups. So I'm gonna put that in. And then I think I'll do one more cup. And the thing about rice and this rice cooker is you have to be pretty exact with your measurements because if not, your rice doesn't come out right. So here's another cup, and then I'm just going to take this container out and go fill it up with water up to the number three line. This is what it looks like, basically. Um, I'm just going to put the lid down until it snaps, and then turn it on, and then just hit white rice, and then it cooks until it's finished. So easy peasy, easy peasy, y'all. This is going to be super fast and simple dinner. And this is a recipe from onceamonthmeals.com. It is called Instant Pot Honey um, Bourbon Chicken. And so what we're gonna do is have the rice, I have some green onion, and then we will um, probably do like a green bean or something uh, veggie-ish to add with it and call it, call it a night. All right, y'all, it's cleanup time. I'm gonna waste no time and get this kitchen nice and clean so that I don't have to worry about it after we eat. And in the meantime, I think I'm gonna turn on a sermon and put it on the speaker here. I have this speaker, it's Bluetooth, so I'm just gonna listen to a sermon while I do the dishes and get the kitchen nice and tidy.
tooth. So I've decided to make some um, desserts. And I'm gonna do a recipe that I've never tried before. It's basically a egg custard dessert. And so I have four eggs and I have whipped the egg whites here and then I've got the egg yolks and I'm gonna add one and a quarter cup of powdered sugar. And then basically this is what it's supposed to look like. It's called magic cake. And so we're gonna give this a try. So I added the cornstarch and water mixture and shredded the chicken up a little bit. So this is ready and, guys, and it's on keep warm. And then um, I've got the rice here. I just need to fluff it. So my dad came home with a bunch of toys that he got from a, a mansion. Maybe. And so there's like that strawberry or what is it? The, so I think it's My Little Pony. Yeah, My Little Pony Ferris wheel in a house that my little pony and then um he brought two big like huge containers of play-doh mm. and filled with like a whole bunch of play-doh and stuff and this is what it came with so i made this a cup of water and grapes with a cookie chocolate chip cookie and a pear on a plate very nice <laughs> and it's and the play-doh smells really good um half of it smells like play-doh and some of it smells like fruit mm, yum, yum.